everyone and assalamu alaikum this is interruption to psychology part two by dear knowledge okay we have successfully completed the part one of lesson two and as i've told you that lesson two will be a bit long so that's why i decided to divide the lesson two into different parts so it will be easy for you to uh, understand the topic very easily so uh, today we will be starting the part two of lesson two uh, lesson two is all about the classification of motivation and uh, the part two is about need drive uh, need or drive incentive or motive so we will be discussing these four terms uh, under the topic of motivation uh, uh, classification of motivation because before starting the topic classification of motivation I want you people to understand these terms so when I'm using these terms you people ex must exactly know what does these mean so let's start with the need so needs are general wants or desire and it is a condition of uh, deficiency every human being has to strive for and murray has given a list of 37 needs such as a need for oxygen water and food so physical contact uh, rest sleep love and affection social approval uh, company uh, self-assertion security and independence are some of the examples of need uh, which we can uh, which were like listed by the murray and the next topic is about drive so a need or give rise to a drive and which may be defined as aroused awareness tendency or state of heightened tension that sets off uh, reactions in an individual and sustain them for increasing his general activity uh, uh, so drive is a motivational tension or arousal that energizes behavior in order to fulfill a need and the existence of a food need moves or drives the individual from within and directs his activity to a goal that may bring about the satisfaction of that need so for any drive to occur need is necessary uh, that is some imbalances in the body tissues or feelings of well-being so the drive moves an individual to act for the satisfaction of his social psychological needs and physiological imbalances and drive refers to motive that are tissue based and hull distinguished between primary or biological drive and secondary or learned drives so this was all about drives let's start discussing about incentive so an incentive is a reinforcing agent which adds force to a drive and if need is added with incentive, the drive becomes powerful. Uh, praise, appreciation, reward, uh, rewards, bonus, fulfillment, fulfillment of one's need and achievement of the desired objective are example of incentives. And these incentives work more forcefully in case the organism has been deprived, deprived of that particular incentive for a length of time. Whereas motive uh, is a desired goal that prompts behavior and it is a readiness or disposition to respond in some ways and not others to a variety of situations. Um, motive may thus be considered to be an energetic force or tendency uh, which can be learned or innate and uh, it persuades or inspires a person to act either for the satisfaction of uh, his or her basic needs uh, other attainment of uh, some specific purpose so this was all about today's video if your concept is clear you can like the video if not you can ask us in the comment section and we will be happy to help you out plus if you're new to this channel you can subscribe our channel subscribe to dear knowledge press on the bell icon so you will never ever miss any notification you can also share the link of this video link of our channel with your family members and friends because sharing is caring until then Allah Hafiz.